Hello, today we're going to highlight our first 172nd scale Piper Cub die cast model. Yes, I said die cast. Uh, the days of all the old mahogany cub models are out the door. And today we're going to look at this really detailed cub model. I'm going to come in here and zoom in carefully so I don't make you guys motion sick. But you can see on the propeller, the detail on the propeller, all the way onto the wheels, the landing gear, and also the pilot seat. And inside there, there is a nice cockpit and all the way down the side of this. This measures four inches long and it features a six inch wingspan. And it does include this uh, display stand. Now, if there's anything that, about this model that uh, I would say I agree with the customers on is I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the display stand, but it is nice it, it, if for those who wants to show it in flight, you just see the little circle there and it plugs in on top and you can, the good thing about it is you can show different uh, flight uh, positions for your model. Uh, it does come in this nice uh, box here. You see our logo here. And as you open it up, we do give you a nice little history of the Cub, along with some uh, other additional information. And then also a nice packaging in case you guys want to put this up for uh, safekeeping. Uh, as a lot of you know, as some of uh the, the Cub has been very inspira uh, ins uh, inspirational for pilots um, as getting their tail draggers license and also some of them taking uh, their first lessons in a Cub. Uh, the, the famous saying is slow, low and slow in the Cub. So here it is. This is our limited edition J3 Piper Cub diecast model. This was replicated after a model of a, of a gentleman who lives here at the Claremont County Airport. Uh, so this is actually based off a real aircraft, and if you go to our website, we include images of that die of that uh, actual airplane. Once again, the Cub diecast model, available at WrightBashBros.com.